Oh hell, we're getting an S-Pod. And welcome back to another video in, in the Giveaway Gladiator build series. And no, we are not going to be installing all this wire into the Giveaway Gladiator. What we will be installing is the Bantam X power distribution system from S-Pod. And for those of you who've already been installing electrical accessories into your off-road vehicle, you know how big of a pain it can be. Miles of spaghetti running through the firewall, under the dash, trying to find places to put those switches. It can just be a big pain. With the Bantam X power distribution system from S-Pod, the module itself gets mounted underneath the hood. Then we're gonna run all the wires from our wired accessories to this power distribution module. From the module, we run one simple data cord through the firewall under the dash, and we're gonna plug it right into the S-Pod touchscreen. And from here is where you're gonna control all your wired accessories. Sounds pretty simple. Let's show you. Now the S-Pod mount is going to mount right here on the fender well. We have our Grim off-road compressor control bracket here. So let's go ahead and pull this third bolt out. If you do have the Grim off-road compressor control bracket, you'll want to find a washer that's the same thickness and we'll put it over the other mounting hole for the S-Pod. And then that will lift the S-Pod bracket up to the same height. On the bottom of the S-Pod Bantam X, you've got two cables coming out. The one with the red circuit breaker obviously goes to the power, and the other one is going to the negative terminal of the battery. So you wanna make sure that you have those uncoiled and ready to route over to the other side. And we can set the control unit right down and install mounting screws. And then these two cables are gonna run over to the far side of the engine bay. We're gonna hook our positive terminal up first, and we're gonna go right to one of the battery leads. We're gonna hook our negative cable to the negative terminal on the fender well. And you can pop your cover on the distribution center. We're gonna route our data cable up through the slot from the bottom, and then you can plug into either one of the ports. And we're just gonna plug into this one because it's closest. And then throw the cover back on for right now. Now we have to figure out how we're gonna get this in the cab, and the answer is pretty simple. We're gonna drop the windshield. So grab your handy dandy tool kit, and let's drop the windshield. And pull the four bolts holding the windshield to your sport bar. And once you have the four bolts out, you can then set the windshield down on the hood. So we're gonna take our data cable and run it right through here. Then up the panel. Now you can run your cable across the threshold of the windshield and come up. And if you're gonna run the normal S-Pod bracket, a lot of people will mount them right here in the center of the dash and then you can plug right in there. We're gonna do it a little bit different. It's the giveaway gladiator. Of course we're gonna do it a little bit different. So I pulled that speaker out and if we look down in there, there is a little opening. So let's slide it down in through there. Oh yeah, that works. So it's a data cable. Don't just yank and pull. If it's not coming through the way you want it, take a close look and uh, maybe just reroute a little bit. Now we can route our cable right up behind the climate control. So we need to get this cable past the climate control trim and we can just take a little bit of material right here on the corner off. And we'll snap that climate control section back into the dash 
and plug our data cable into the back of the touch screen and we are ready to go. So now you may ask, where do we get this really cool mount that allows us to put the S-Pod right here? Well, we can't tell you yet. This is a prototype that one of the companies we deal with sent us to test out, and we're testing it out on the Giveaway Gladiator. So moving under the hood, we can unscrew the cover for the Bantam. And if we look at the cover, you'll notice there are eight squares, and each one's labeled switch one through switch eight with a positive and negative. These are each one of the eight 30 amp circuits. S-Pod does include a decal sheet full of different legends, so you can label each one of them. So at a quick glance, you can remember which one of the circuits does what. Now, as we look at the circuit board itself, you'll see eight different terminals down each side and each one is marked little tiny digits down there you'll see switch one then ground switch two then ground and so on so let's go ahead and load up a wired accessory s-pod does include new spades and heat shrink for the ends of your wires and we can just run them up through from the bottom side and we're going to hook this one to switch two And we're going to hook our power to the SW2. And, and the negative to the ground. That's a little tight to get in there. But it makes it for a nice, small, clean package. So there you go, switch number two is wired up and what these feed is a set of Baja Design LP4s and they're mounted on the A-pillar. So we can put our cover back on and then we're gonna grab our legend decal sheet. There's an A-pillar light decal and we're gonna put it right here under switch two. and it's labeled. So let's go back inside the vehicle. When you go to first turn on your S-Pod, you need to start the vehicle to initialize the power distribution system. So we're gonna step on the brake, hit that on off button, and now we can touch the S-Pod screen right towards the top, and it's on. So it's initialized. We can then shut it back off. And now we can go through our functions. So as we look at our screen, the first thing you're gonna see right towards the top is you have your on off button. So if we push that, it's off. And if we touch right in the same spot again, it comes back on. Next up is the on road, off road function. What this function does is it'll disable any strobe or flashing functions if it's in the on road mode. So if you have some lights set for flashing or strobe, you turn to off-road mode and then you could run those lights. For normal, just on the road driving, you want to have it on road so that you don't mistakenly turn some flashing lights on. And of course, that's just to help keep you legal. The next thing we're going to see is all the switches, switch one through eight. As you, as you hit a switch, it's going to turn on, it'll highlight. And the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see a slider off to the side and this slider would be to dim the lights if you have dimmable lights. So if you had off-road lights that are dimmable, you could actually change how bright you want them. And we go through our switches, we get down to the center here, and this is where you have your battery voltage. This is telling you what your battery is right now. So we have 12.4 volts. And this is a uh, battery monitor. The S-Pod will shut down if it senses that your battery is 11.2 volts or less for more than two minutes. Then to reinitialize, you're gonna need to start your vehicle back up. The S-Pod will turn back on. And that's just to help save you from running a battery right down to dead. Next to it is the temperature. Now this isn't the inside or outside temperature. This is the temperature of the circuit board. Right now it's sitting at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And the circuit board is designed for an operating range of zero to 220 degree Fahrenheit. 
And then the last button over here in the corner is the setup button. And this is to set up our switches. So we can hit that and that takes us into the switch setup function. What we have up here in the center is the switch linking. And what that'll allow you to do is set a master switch that can control other switches. So that's why we put the A-pillar lights on switch number two. We'll also put other forward facing lights on switch number three and number four. And then we can use switch number one as a master. You hit one switch, they all come on, or you can hit each one individually. Now there's a slider on this screen also, but what this does is controls how bright the screen is. So if you're one of those who likes a nice dim dash, you can turn it way down or you can go full up. This button here, the backlight, this is the intensity is what we were just adjusting. You can also set the timer. This is for a sleep timer. Right now it's set at 12 minutes. The touch screen will turn off automatically after 12 minutes. Then you have your Bluetooth, the reset and the pair. And then we also have our screen unlocked and locked. So once you've set your switches and you don't want anybody to mess with them, you can just hit it and lock it. And right here is where you can select your source. You have your swipe on, swipe off. Then you have uh, one, two, three, four. You can hook up to four different Bantam power distribution modules. And then here's our back button. So let's go up here to switch number two. This is a switch customization screen. We can go right up on the top here and then delete switch and we can call it A pillar and then come down here to line two, delete and we're gonna say lights. And then we'll hit save. You always want to save after each change. Then we can come up here to switch features. And once we get into the switch feature options, this is what we can tell the lights what to do. We can have them flash or strobe. We can even have a momentary. So when you just hit the button, it's only on for a short time. And then you also have a dimmable function. So if you have dimmable lights, we can click that. Then you can control the lights with that slider. Go ahead and go back and let's just make sure we hit save and that everything's saved and then back. So now you can see the legends actually change. It actually says a pillar lights. So now we can go back one more and there's our new legend, a pillar lights. All right, so we turn the lights off in the studio and let's see what happens if we hit this light, boom. Our LP4s by Baja Design are on. So we'll show you more about those lights and a few other Baja Design lights at a later date. So there's the Bantam X power distribution system from S-Pod. And as you can see, it's easy to install and well, it'll help organize all those switched accessories, keeping the underhood wiring mess to a minimum. So would you like to know more about the S-Pod systems? Well, there's a link down below to where you can find the Bantam X system set up like what we did here for your JT or JL. There will also be a link down there where you can find other S-Pod uh, systems. You'll also find a link down there where you can enter to win this beautiful Hydro Blue giveaway gladiator that we are, yes, giving away. But while you're down there, more importantly, we'd like to hear from you. What are your comments? We wanna know what do you think about the Bantam X S-Pod? Does it tick all your boxes for a power distribution system? So until next time, thanks Northridge Nation. Gladiator. But we're under the hood of, a of the, gla the Gladiator. Fire under the dash of the giveaway. Okay, make you the giveaway gladiator. We're not gonna be installing all this wire in the giveaway gladiator. Let's get that out of there.